Okay, got a quick video on how to export an alpha channel with so doing like a lower third sort of thing. Um, open a new project on your timeline, then you're just gonna find a one of these white solid backgrounds <coughs> and then drop it in. Just gonna resize it, click on that little box there. You can find that in the film strip under that little box. Make sure that's clicked, then you can just grab these little things. Pull it down. It's a nice, a nice little background strip. That was kind of messy. I probably could have just pulled it down. So I'm gonna set this back to zero. That'll center it. And then I think I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, and I'll just use this. Do that. Okay. Uh, so now I have a strip, and I've got a logo here. It's already got a transparent background. So I'll drop that in and resize it real quick. Make sure that matches there. I'm gonna resize it and animate it. Now. Um, animate it you may not do this already but just quickly just grab it over here I'm gonna set a keyframe up here in the uh, control panel top right hand corner and set a position keyframe and then I'm just gonna drag my, uh, my playhead to the end and set another keyframe and then move it to the other side so that that's what it'll do and animate like that from that first point to that second point make sure that worked Yep, <clears throat> so it's working. Um, and I think that this is doing some interpolation. So you just right click on the uh, keyframe arrow here, right click on it and then change it to linear. And switch that to linear. That way it doesn't like speed up and slow down right at the beginning. It'll just stay at constant speed. So if you need to loop it, it'll loop nicely without like start, starting and slowing down. Starting slow and slowing down at the end. <clears throat> okay, so it looks good. Um, so you have this here. Now we're going to. You can change your opacity on this thing too. So if you want it to be a little more see through, you can change it. I usually keep it at like 65% um, or 60%, whatever. But that's just up to you, whatever you're showing in the background. Um, so the key thing is we want to make sure this is a transparent. We export it, so we'll go up to this little export thing, go to master file, export, and then you're going to change your, I'll change the title here so you can see, it's transparent, <coughs> and then settings, uh, switch this to Apple ProRes 444, and video only, and uh, just click next, it'll export to wherever you want. <coughs> And uh, let me just test to make sure that that worked. One second. Um, there it is. So I'm just going to drop that in. Here's. You can see it here, but we'll put it over some video so you can actually make sure it worked. Um, I'll shoot some of this footage. Drop it in. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to create a new project for this so that it's easier to see. And in new project. Drop in some footage, and then let me just move this out of the way. Drop that in real quick. You can import this however you want. Anyway, make sure it's a transparent layer, and that worked. Uh, let me know if you need anything else.